Um, yeah, I'm back. And the next video will be on the guy called Blizz Valve. If you don't know him, good for you. And if you do know him, enjoy the video. Well, this guy has taken the initiative to review almost everything regarding a console or any kind of game system. So, me being a guy who owns a 360 and that's probably the only next-gen console I own, I'm not saying I like it over the others, but since I've played it, I do kind of like it over the others. At first, I wanted a PS3, but then I realized the games on there weren't as good as the probably 360 is going to get, and they didn't have that many games to start with when I was choosing my console. I won. I wanted to get a Wii, but yeah, we can't all get what we wish, we wish for. But let's continue the video. Hello, everyone. Blizz Valve here with a remake of a review. Thanks for stating that. Yeah. After seeing the negative responses from my last video, I went back to the footage again, and I have to say, yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, I kind of reviewed it badly. Um, it probably wasn't your review as of the fact that you can't review worth a shit. I'm sure it took more time with that review. I was in a damn rush to make it, though. Then don't rush when you're making it. So, yeah, I'm gonna take my time and actually make it- Okay, stop talking about your old review and get on with the new one. In death review of this new Xbox experience. Oh boy. I still feel it's disappointing, but I made a couple mistakes in my last video. Stop. Okay, start with your review and stop saying stuff about your old one. Maybe not everyone saw your old review, like I didn't see it, and this is the first one I'm seeing. If you're gonna make a review of a remake, just say one word. This is a remake of that review. Boom! That is how it's easy it is. And I decided to go back and fix them. Some of the stuff from the last review is still in here, but... <sighs> oh god, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I fixed some stuff around and... So, here's the final product. Start the Enjoy. Review. Yep, the new Xbox 360 interface has arrived. And it gives you brand new features. First, let's talk about the avatars. Before he starts bitching about the avatars, I'm going to say one thing. They're actually pretty cool customizations you can, do, you can give to your guy. You can give him skeleton face paint, top hat, and a monocle. You may have seen that in some of my icons, because, yeah, that's that kick-ass. I have to say, these are annoying. <gasps> oh my gosh. I mean, look at them. They look completely retarded. Look at these options. You only have, like, a couple choices to choose from. Maybe it's because they're going to add on new features in the later, um, later experience. Like, they are. And they're not any good. I don't... Dude, they, you can't expect everything from the start. Oh, and good job making your avatar almost as boring looking as you. I don't even look like myself. Oh, maybe because it's supposed to be a cartoon character. Even though you have no idea what I look like, but... Actually, we do now, since you put your pretty little face on a webcam for everyone to enjoy. I, I can't... That, that was sarcasm. I can't find the options that I like. Is it that hard to see where it says wristwear, a watch, a ring, and a glove? Are you stupid? So, it's bullshit. Well... It's bullshit because he's too stupid to figure out his way around it. They say that they're coming out with more options in the spring for a fee. Oh yeah, by the way, he clicked on the outfits and said no outfits. Let me tell you what outfits are. It's when you, um, create um, a look you like and you don't want to have to make it again by scratch you have to go over to your uh, outfit and save it to that file which is actually a pretty good idea but he's probably gonna bitch at that too damn you microsoft damn you microsoft you're not as good as ps3 because ps3 has metal gear style 4 well good news though you don't have to get rid of your gamer picks you can still use them yes they would get rid of your probably Half of your gamer picks you've probably spent Microsoft points to get. Yeah, that's just brilliant of you, Blizz Valve. Brilliant. Like here, I switched back to my own Psychonauts gamer pick for my Tom Man 55 Xbox Live account. 
Good job on giving the trolls your Xbox Live account. I'm not going to do anything, but others will. So, yeah, you can still use your gimmick picks, and you can have... Gimmick picks. ...have your avatars at the same time. At least that's one good option that Microsoft gave us. Okay, I'm going to say this again, right now. Microsoft actually worked pretty hard to do this. I prefer the new experience because the old one's kind of bland, from my point of view. This one gives you avatars, which is that kind of like a cartoonish character of you. You can make them look like whatever you want within those boundaries. But they've also made the party system, which you can invite seven or eight people into a, like a private chat with just you people. Which is one of the greatest features on that. What I really wanted to show you guys was the Netflix option in the 360 dashboard. But alas, I can't show it to you because I don't have a Netflix account. Womp womp womp. What I can show you though is the new 360 interface. I Aren't we looking at it? I have to say... It looks really nice. It runs smoothly, and the pictures just add a touch to the dashboard. But it's not as boring as me, so I don't like it. You win an A in looks, Microsoft. And look at the guide menu. It resembles the original Xbox 360 dashboard. Adoy! Having the marketplace, the game... Okay, if he starts bitching at the dashboard thing... Or hit, hit the Xbox guide button. You are able to access your music, your videos, your um, your achievements, your friends, your... It's just... They always have everything you can go on to on that. Which is really good. I'm not a... P X <laughs> I'm not a 360 fanboy. Please do not say that. That other stuff. Good job with that too. Mm -hmm. The only problem I have with this is... I'm sorry, but these advertising spaces... Um, they need another source of money for the economic downfall. Because apparently games aren't doing it for the most systems, so they have to sell out nowadays. As in the inside Xbox section. I'm sorry. Um, well, <laughs> it may be my, from my view right now, but we're in your friends section and you're talking about inside Xbox. I, I don't really see the... The, in the advertisements in your friends section. Sorry, it's an advertising. Okay, thing. now he goes to, to it after probably 30 seconds of him talking about it. Ace, I don't care what you say. Sure, it may have some news in there, but looking at the maybe maybe it's your one of your only sources of looking up trailers. The stuff, it's just advertisements. Oh really? Then don't go on to it. Plus, they added advertisements to the other sections, too. Once again, oh, really? So, I have to take off points for that. Because you don't like looking at ads? What? It's take off points because they need to earn another source of money, and actually, that's an Iron Man thing. And if he's taking off points for Netflix, <laughs> I tried on Netflix, and uh, apparently I it didn't work out. But... That's because I didn't have enough money to go watch it. Because, you know, I'm poor, guys. Send me money. I'm so poor. Whatever. Um, and he's just sitting there going to complain about it. Because apparently, it hurts his eyeballs. Three new things that were added to the new Xbox experience is... Poi Chat, which allows you to talk to multiple people. He said Poi Chat. Hey, boy, you gotta come out your boy chat. People at the same time... Unlike the only one back in the old Xbox 360 dashboard. I miss a that, because I'm so used to the old Xbox Live experience. Friends list, which shows you their avatars, and the games that they're playing, and you're able to save games onto your hard drive. But this is practically worthless if you only have a 20 gigabyte hard drive, and you have a... I have to admit, that was... That was kind of a little, little tiny, tiny mistake that they made. But the fact that I can run Left 4 Dead and load it in under 20 seconds is something of a, of a good thing. Ton of shit saved on it. So yeah, 
If you want to save games on your hard drive, you might have to delete stuff. And like games you probably don't even play anymore? Yeah, that's such a loss. And you can pretty much save up to like four games since all the games cost like five gigabytes of space. Oh my god, I'm 